Hello and welcome to a brand new game on my channel. This is Return to Games Book of Demons. This game has just released today in early access and you can find it on Steam. I'll have all the links in the description if you want to go and check it out. They have an ambitious goal that they plan on actually making seven games. And this is just the first game in, I think it's seven, seven, it might be eight. I believe it's seven because I think there's uh, seven pedestals here. This is really just the first game. And they basically list this game as a hack and slash RPG with a card build building element. And basically you can also set sort of the time limit on your, your, your quest. So they've basically set up a system such that you can, you know, if you only have like 10 minutes to play, you can actually sit down and play for 10 minutes. You can set a time limit of 10 minutes and you can have a 10 minute type quest. So it's actually kind of interesting. I have not played any of it at all. I don't even know what to expect. So we're just going to jump right into Book of Demons. Let's go. Ah, the Book of Demons. A truly grim story in our collection. Not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home. Only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Ah, the ultimate evil has awoken. Adventure. Darkness. Horrors! All of these await below. Good luck. Okay, first off, I have to say I really love the art style. Um, it's uh, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna get to create a character here. It looks like, or we can go back to the archive. Uh, we can, uh, we have to create a warrior. It looks like, cause it looks like uh, both rogue and mage are locked currently. Character not available in this version. So it looks like we're stuck with the warrior currently. Um, so we will create a character. Early access disclaimer. Thank you for participating in Book of Demons Early Access. Please remember this game is still in development. You may and probably will experience bugs, unfinished features, or may be even game crashes. Let's hope we don't find those. We are working to address these. Your feedback is important. Of course it is. My feedback's always important. All right, we are going to play as a warrior, a mighty adventurer that believes in brute power and steel. I am proficient in all kind of weapons, armor, and I can sometimes spot a little madness in his eyes. So we are going to be Delgar. We have the Shadow Sword. Can we change this? No, it doesn't look like we can change this. Okay. Mighty Blow and Poison Bomb. All right. Let's jump into the Book of Demons. Hey, baby. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after I'm all this time. I'm happy to see you too. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. You can keep Just my spirit up, Just don't tell baby. anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. Thanks. Okay, hi there. Need something to eat or drink? Uh, we can do gossip. Is that what we just did? We got the welcome. Okay. Magical cauldron looks locked. Uh, golden key. Um, can't can't afford it because we're 
for adventurers. <gasps> the sage, he just appeared. Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. <laughs> uh, but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. Uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. <laughs> you know what's really funny? And you probably can't hear it on the video, but right after he said that, I actually there's a there's a thunderstorm right above me right now, so it thundered. Uh, unlock card slot, identify card, okay. And that's just the uh, the intro. Alright. Oh, we can go to the cathedral. Talk to him. Mana. Show character cards panel. Okay. So we can upgrade our cards. It looks like we can uh, collect cards. You have no unidentified cards. Okay. Okay. Ten hearts, five mana. Cauldron contents. So it looks like all I have available to me right now is to go to the cathedral. I really do enjoy the art style. I really do. I love I'm, I'm a sucker for RPG games, so not discovered. <laughs> love it. All right, we are here, monster unmet. Okay, so we shall travel. I am the sword that splits darkness. Click anywhere to move, click behind or on your character to stop. Your character will stop at intersections. Okay, I'm not gonna skip the tutorials because I don't really know. Okay, so we'll go here. You can interact objects within your can interact with objects within your light radius. Okay. Can I interact with say this? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh. Um okay. It's got like a little uh, paper Diablo feel to it. Click to choose a target. Your character auto attacks. Auto attack is slow. Each hit damages one heart. Click or click and hold on target to attack faster. When engaged with monsters, click and hold to retreat. So I can I can click to go faster. Yeah. Let's see what this says. Icons on top represent points of interest on this level. The icon is revealed when you're getting near. Okay, so we're getting near to the chest. Yeah. Health potion. Item cards consume charge when used. You can charge them at fortune tellers or find charges in the dungeon. Uh, resume and equip. View your cards by pressing C button uh, or using the bottom of the right corner. Rearrange cards between your card pane and slots by clicking or dragging them. Only equip cards are active. To unlock more card slots, visit the sage. Okay. New gossip in town.
Heart points are your life. If you lose them all, you will die. Your heart points don't auto-regenerate. Use fountains and cards to recover health. You can always go back to town and be healed by the healer for free. Skeletons. Okay. All right. Get away from me, paper skeletons! Now, what do we got over here? Oh, I've leveled up. Kill monsters and gain experience points to level up. Each time you level up, all monsters lose one heart. Oh, every level gives you a point which can be added to hearts or boost your mana. Okay. Uh, I'm a warrior, so I'll boost my hearts probably. Oh, we charged up our health potion. Okay, let's, uh... Do I have to go in here? Okay, we'll level up. Uh, let's go with hearts. Oh, more charges for my health potion. Okay, let's I can go see that the sanctity of this place has been fouled. Sure has. Can't uh, do anything there. Okay, we'll just keep following along here. Oh, so we can head back to town, or we can continue. We'll continue. Right? Why not? Let's go over here. Notice the footprints you leave behind. They show the direction you came from and mark the places you visited. Golden footprints mean a corridor has been fully visited. Normal footprints partially visited. No footprints. You haven't been there yet. Okay. So it's, I guess, an easy way to uh, get around. Crypto Simonis. Bosses are tough to defeat. Each one has multiple lives. The more lives a boss has, the more rewards he drops. When slain, all bosses' lives are shown on the boss bar. Before each life, the boss is immune. He's preparing a special attack and cannot be stopped. Okay. Oh, let's go, let's go. Let's run away, run away, run away, run away. Let's run back. Oh, go to hell. Did we get him? Did we get him? Zombies and some other monsters have poisoned hearts. On death, zombies explode with a shockwave that poisons everyone around. Zombies cannot be poisoned, they are healed instead. Okay. Level up! Okay, so... Uh, I wonder if zombies then heal each other since poison heals them? Okay. Take that, skeleton! Damn, zombie! Now, if I go all the way around here, will this corridor be fully explored? No, because it hasn't ended yet. I like that. I like that. Hey, we got uh, bloody armor. Recovers hearts lost in battle. Chance to spawn hearts when being hit. Required level three. So you're gonna quit. Okay, so that's the way down. Uh. Oh, get out of there. Drink from the fountain there. 
Level clear. Okay, I will go down. Zombie corpse, none left. Skeleton warrior, none left. Go down. So we can go back to town. We've got two things. Let's go back to town. Might as well. We got a couple things here. So let's go uh, check out some more rumors while we are here. I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft. And I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic any time you want, but the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, so they have to be magically linked to your essence. Okay. in the cauldron increases every time you find an ingredient in the dungeon. What's this? I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is... Okay, never mind. Uh, collect prizes? Do you wish to collect the cauldron prize now? Wait a little longer and risk losing the bonus. Each time you collect prizes, the price of the cauldron increases when you go. Uh, not now. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself, <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good but simple people and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. <laughs> We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. <laughs> Magical cards are my specialty. They represent a novel approach to magic. Offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with <laughs> my help at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Okay. Uh, upgrade card, change card. Please select the card you. Oh, charge card. Uh, okay. Generates hearts. Pull down. This is left. Three, uh, four. Oh, so I could pay a hundred to charge it up once, one more time, I guess. Now let's do it. We'll we'll max it. So that's its max charge. And we can't upgrade right now, and there should be no more gossip for us. 
Oh, we got some more gossip. Apparently. Or not. Magic in the cauldron increases every time you find an ingredient in the dungeon. The, uh, the prize, I've right? been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her. Right? That's just what I, what I listened to before. I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with guards. Okay, so I don't, I don't need to talk to her any further. Uh, and we just have the two cards right now we have the bloody armor. Recovers hearts lost in battle. Chance to spawn hearts when being hit. Requires level 3. Cost 5. So I think I've used up my mana. This orb contains your blue and green mana. Blue mana. Casting spells cost blue mana. There are many ways to replenish it. Fountains, potions, artifacts. Green mana. Equipping artifact cards converts blue mana to green mana. Green mana can't be used for casting, but it will charge once you unequip artifact cards. Okay, so I'm using my mana right now to charge my armor, I guess. Which, eh, it's quite alright, I guess. It's not a, not a big deal. But uh, I don't think there's anything else that I can do other than go back adventuring. But I think what I'll do is I'll wrap up this episode here. I hope you liked this first look of Book of Demons. And next time we're going to delve deeper underneath the cathedral and defeat ourselves the demon. I love the art style. I love the paper. Paper art. It's fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this first look. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button because it helps me a lot. And until next time, don't go around.